Hello there, my old and new friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Happy Smiles. My name is Natalia and I'm registered dental hygienist in the state of Washington. I'm very grateful and excited that you're here with me today. Today, we're going to discuss why it's important to clean between our teeth, which tools to use and how to do it correctly. So stay tuned with me, guys. So why do we have to brush between our teeth? Very, very simple. Uh, each tooth has a five surfaces. Front of the tooth, back of the tooth, chewing or biting surface, and in between, right and left. So when we use our brush, manual or electric brush, brush only can reach your fronts, your backs, and your biting surface. Unfortunately, brush cannot go in between your teeth and reach the sides and in between surfaces of the teeth. And those areas where are very, very critical to clean because this is where bacteria loves to hide, accumulates, and start to uh, cause inflammation right underneath the gum line and in between your teeth. In recent years, periodontal disease or gum disease was associated with a lot of uh, medical conditions such as diabetes, stroke, cardiovascular disease, and even dementia. So it's very important to try to prevent gum disease from happening in the first place. Also, uh, some people are more vulnerable to gum disease, such as elderly patients, young children, or people with autoimmune disease or conditions. So for those folks, it's even more crucial why we need to clean between our teeth. We have a lot of bacteria in our mouths, uh, over 500 species. So some of them are good, some of them are neutral, and some of them are really, really bad bacteria that cause all the problems. Another reason why do we have to brush in between our teeth, floss, or use any tools in between our teeth, because of the cavities. Uh, cavities forms most very commonly right in between our teeth. And again, it's the same reason as periodontal disease starts. We have a food particles, we have a plug that I was, that I was uh, telling you guys on my previous uh, visit, uh, videos, the white sticky part that accumulates on your teeth. And if it doesn't remove on time, it's become harder, calcified, and it's combined with the food particles produce acid. And those acids will destroy your enamel and cause cavities. So it's another reason, a second reason why it's so crucial uh, to clean in between your teeth for optimum oral health, okay? Like I gave a perfect example on my last video, I'm going to repeat it again. Uh, this is a visual example that I love to use with my uh, little patients, and I'm sure you will find it helpful as well. So when we brush our teeth, it's like washing our hands. Brushing alone, will just wash your palms inside and outside of your palm, okay? And you're skipping everything in between. All this germs, all this stuff that happens, stays in your teeth, you cannot do it. So when you're flossing, when you use uh, special tools in between your teeth, you are going not only washing your hands from the inside and out, but you're going to wash everything in between. That's how you wash your hands, correct? Just thoroughly for, what is it, 20 seconds, especially now. So, wash your hands for 20 seconds, but think about when you're brushing your teeth. When you are not cleaning between your teeth, you are missing all this stuff in between. So, hopefully that's a great visual example for you guys. All right, my friends. So, now we determine why it's so important to clean in between our teeth. Let's talk about different tools. Let's start with the most commonly used tool that people love to clean in between, just normal traditional floss. There are so many different brands of floss on the market. Some of them are waxed, some of them unwaxed, a little bit thinner, thicker thread, flavored, unflavored, 
you can mix, batch, and choose whatever works for you. Uh, why it's it's most easier one? First of all, it's super easy to find. Any drugstore, any pharmacy will have plus. It's relatively cheap, so anybody can afford it. And it's pretty easy to use, as long as you know how to use it. So, I'm going to show you just basically how to do it. I like personally to buy it in bulk, and then I have these containers that I can use. Um, so you are taking about 18 inches of glass, about like this amount, maybe like, like an elbow, okay? So your middle fingers will be your uh, wrapping fingers. So you just take a glass and you wrap around your middle fingers, just like this. Your index fingers, these guys, are your working fingers. So when you will be working around your mouse, cleaning in between every single white pearls that you have, you're going to push in those uh, fingers and go around every single one. Let me see if I can, you guys can see it easily or not. So what do we do? We put in the floss very gently right underneath the gum line. We're going wrap around like a letter C between the two and they're going very gently up and down motion, all right? Just like this. After we finish cleaning that guy, we need to clean a neighbor. So, just like this. I don't know if you can see it clearly or not, but you want to slide underneath the gum line, just a couple millimeters, as long as you know you don't force anything underneath. You hug around and you give a nice tight hug with that tooth. Then you turn around fast to the tooth next door and you hug around that tooth as well. So every single tooth in your mouth want to be hugged. Okay? This is just with a regular floss. All right, my friends. So if floss not you think and you just don't know how to wrap around your fingers and which finger to use you can use something more simple which is floss pick Ta -da! so this little guy also comes with different shapes sizes the floss is right here comes with the flavors or unflavored so you can again pick and choose wherever you like okay very similar pretty much the same idea with the floss, you want to slide this little guy right underneath your gum line. You slide in on the surface of the tooth, just very gently slide underneath, and a hug in motion. Hug one side of the tooth, then hug the neighbor. Something like this. Let's see if you can see it. Ah, ah. Hug, hug, hug. Hug, hug, hug. And pull out. So, super simple. Sometimes if you have a tight contact, the floss is going to break and you just grab another one. They usually come with a bag of like, I don't know, 100 or 200 of them. So you can just find which works for you. They also come as a little bit thinner or thicker floss inside, flavored or not flavored, okay? Um, this, I will be doing a separate video for the kids, but this is an amazing, amazing tool to teach children how to floss. Um, it's easy to use and this is like adult version, I guess, but they also come as a kid's version. They have a really cool like seahorse or like some dinosaur shape. They usually have uh, some sort of grape or strawberry, strawberry flavor, so you don't have to be like minty flavor. So uh, something, you know, anybody, adults can use it and the kids can use it. Also this little uh, floss pick, this is just a small traditional floss pick. Uh, there are brands available, I just don't have it at home with me. Uh, the same idea, but it has a longer stick. So you can hold the stick raises and you can floss your mouse. This is a uh, great tool for somebody who has a uh, big hand or a small mouse or just a poor dexterity and it's just hard for you to get this little flosser in between your like glass molars. So look for floss like this with a long handle, all right? Right, my dear friends. So those are floss and floss sticks. If you are someone who has, at the moment, braces, 
or bridges or you have a little bit like bigger spaces in between, I have a perfect solution for you. So, um, this guy is called a platypus. It's an interesting, cool name for it. And I just want to make sure, uh, let you guys know that I'm not associated with any brands. I'm just telling you everything what I have at the moment at home. So this little guy is called platypus. He is perfect for somebody who has braces. Actually, he actually was designed for people for braces. I will um, put in video a little picture with how uh, to use it if you have braces. But it's very similar to the, this green one that I show you. But you see the front, this little, um, this part is different. So you just slide this part right uh, where your braces is and you can clean it in between. It's amazing. If you have braces, this is literally amazing things. Uh, also, if you have braces or if you have bridges, you can try to use a super floss. It's like this in a package and it's uh, 50 uh, flossers here. You just take one. And what is a super floss? It's a super floss. <laughs> it has a and it's a little bit sharp and right here. So you will slide this end underneath your brackets or underneath your bridge. And you, when you will slide, it's having two different um, thickness. So this is very fluff and thick, and then it goes to the thinner part. So you see the difference? Yeah. So this is great for uh, taking care of your braces or your bridge. This is awesome. And another thing, if you don't have that one, I have another one. It's called a Breach 8. So it's a shredder, dental floss shredder. And they come in a bunch of them, from 150. And it's super easy to use. You just take one of these little things and you take your floss, just regular floss, you thread it in between, if I can see it. Here you go. And I have a good vision, I don't know. Here you go. Anyways, here you go. And you put this hard end right underneath your bridge, underneath your braces, and here's a floss for you. And you can floss, floss, floss. Here you go. Okay, guys. So if you try flossing or using the pigs and it's just still not your jam, I have a perfect solution for you. My next tool that I love, it's called Proxy Brush. It's a little fluffy brush at the end. This one, it's pretty small. They all come in different sizes, literally like tons of sizes. So make sure that you choose correct one. It's a great tool to have if, and it's also bands like this, if you have bigger spaces in between your teeth. For somebody who has a very tight context, like myself, for me, it will be hard to use it. It's just not going through. But there are people who have more spaces in between and it's just hard for them to floss. I would always recommend to use something like this, like this proxy brush. But again, play around, make sure that you find correct size that works for your mouse, okay? It can be used in between, underneath uh, the bridge, it's also perfect for somebody who has braces because you can just slide this little fluffy part of it underneath um, between your tooth and the bracket. That will be a wonderful, wonderful tool. Uh, again, they come in a pack of, I don't know, hundreds of them. Sometimes, sometimes they have this little cap so you can protect it. But I usually recommend to throw it away. You just use it and you just throw it away and use a new one for the next one. If this is too big for you, you can use a soft pick. Soft pick is very similar to the proxy brush. You just have a little, um, it's not as thick and it's, it's a rubbery texture. So it's a little rubbery uh, pick. And again, you can uh, bend it a little bit. It will be much more easier go in between, especially when you have a tight contacts. If you have implants, you can clean in between that would be both of those tools. Uh, soft pick and a proxy would be perfect for somebody who has implants. So just play around and see which one you like better, all right? 
The next tool that I'm going to introduce is called tough and brush. I don't have, unfortunately, it with me at home, but here's a picture for you. It's very similar to a proxy brush. It has a bundle, very tight bundle of bristles in the very end of it. And it's ideal for somebody who has braces, so it will be easier to clean all the food particles between your tooth um, part and your braces part. It's great for somebody who has a difficult time to reach in between the uh, back molars, for instance. Um, what else? Implants are great for implants care. Just um, take this brush and clean gently around implants. So it's a great tool. I have a lot of patients who absolutely love to use the tool and they have a really good results with this. The most important rule for any of those um, cleaning tools between your teeth, um, the main rule is do not force anything. If it doesn't fit, if it's too big, just choose something smaller. Choose something that's specifically um, comfortable for you and your mouse and don't try to force if it's too big. All right? All right, my dear friends. The next device that I'm going to introduce is water pick. Water pick uh, is my absolutely favorite, to be honest with you. I use it daily. I recommend water pick to a lot of my patients and I'll give you uh, reasons why. So, water pick is only one uh, device that cleans between your teeth or interdental device that can go a little bit deeper between your teeth underneath your gum compared to the rest of them. Uh, I believe the studies being uh, proven that water pick can reach up to six millimeters underneath the gum line. So it will be perfect for somebody who has a gum disease and lost some bone around teeth. So water pick is wonderful. Unfortunately, um, I don't have it with me right now, but uh, here's a picture of it. And uh, you can look online, waterpick.com has a wonderful videos how to use it and different uh, styles. So waterpick is the main one, but again, I'm not associated with any brands, I'm just um, talking from my experience and what I am using. Uh, water pick comes in the different sizes. You can choose traditional water pick with just a um, basic water reservoir where you put the water and it's just more stationary, stands on top of the sink. Or you can choose something smaller uh, that you can travel easily with. You can even take it to the shower, it's a waterproof. So you can you clean your teeth in a shower and maybe think so this is. So there are um, different types of water pick you can use. Uh, use always a warm water, don't use a cold because water pick is such a powerful tool that's so just blasting everything out. And if you're going to use a cold teeth, cold water and your teeth are sensitive, that might be uncomfortable. And I always recommend to my patients use about medium speed. If you have a dial from one to 10, use about six. Uh, don't, no need to use all the way to 10, but at the same time, don't use anywhere like low pressure one or two because it's not going to be as beneficial. All right. The last but not least tool for today is a tongue scraper. So I have a manual tongue scraper and an electric tongue scraper. Manual one is, I mean, they both are very simple to use. Uh, first of all, why we use it? Very, very important to clean our tongue daily. Uh, our tongue is a muscle that uh, contains a lot of papillas right on top of it. And bacteria loves to hide underneath those papillas, around those papillas, and then we end up with a breath breast, we end up with a staining, like when you drink coffee and you notice your tongue is brown. So that's, that's what it is. Um, very important to eliminate as much bacteria from our mouth as possible. So this is, would be your last step. After you brush, you clean in between, and you, you 
use a thumb scraper and then you can rinse your mouth with uh, mouth rinse if you want. So manual one has a little uh, bristles uh, at the, this side and then it also have a little scraper right here, you can see it. So you can use a brush side or you can scrape it, whatever works for you. Uh, you can just play with this and see which one, which side better for you or both. Uh, an electric one, this one is um, specifically designed for Sonicare. You just take your brush head off and you put a ton scraper on it. It's a um, rubbery, silicone kind of end with a little um, kind of bristly she looking in the end. Yeah, not very, like more like papilla kind of looking. You turn it on and then you are brushing your tongue with this. Sometimes this can tickle, so just don't go too deep. Uh, stay in your comfort level and very easy, just maybe 30 seconds, brush your tongue with this and you would feel that all this discoloration, brownish, whatever, whiteness, sometimes it's like white color too, comes in your sink and you can see all this stuff coming out from your tongue. So very, very important to clean your tongue daily as well. All right, my dear friends, just to summarize everything, why it's so important to keep our mouths as clean as possible. Clean mouths equal healthy mouths. So by our American Dental Association, we recommend to brush our teeth at least twice a day, clean in between your teeth at least once a day, and visit your dentist and dental hygienist for your regular visits to keep maintain to keep and maintain the optimal oral health. Again, my friends, thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm so grateful for all of you. I'm very grateful for all your likes and subscribes. So continue doing this. Give me a thumbs up. Recommend my channel to your friends and send me a feedback comments what kind of videos would you like to see in the future i'm reading everything and i'm making my videos accordingly so keep smiling take care of your beautiful white pearls and i'll see you soon bye guys